Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the Annexure 1 journals that is from 16 to 20. So in the previous video, you can see the first uh, 215 journals which I have already discussed whether it is there in the scopus and what is the scope of that particular uh, journal and what is the frequency of the journal, what what is the fee you have to pay, is there any cost or not, okay. So likewise, we are going to see academic that is 16 academic pediatrics academic psychiatry, academic radiology, academy of management annals and academy of management journal. So this is the first one academic pediatrics which is uh, by elsewhere. Okay, so here you can see that if you just scroll down and click here uh, real aim and scope you can see what are the aim and scope of the journal. So this is very very important for any any uh, scholars who are planning to publish your journal that is submit your journal in any uh, submit your article in any journal okay so your article should be uh, should relate to the scope okay so if your article is related to a uh, pediatric education emergency medicine injury abuse behavioral pediatrics holistic medicine anything which is mentioned here then definitely you can submit your journal here submit your article Okay, and if you just scroll down, you can see that they are taking nearly 9.2 weeks for review and the publication time is 3.8 weeks and the acceptance rate is 28%. You see, the acceptance rate, you know, like a few will not check the proper scope and they will submit their paper uh, like uh, once they have uh, created the article, they will just submit it. So don't do that. Just go and check the scope of the journal and also find what is the proper template for the journal and your plagiarism, everything matters. Okay, so let us see. Yes, it is fine. They are taking a short period. Then we are, we have to go and check for the price. Okay, so click here guide for the authors to know more about it. So most of the elsewhere, okay, they, they won't be charging anything. They will be uh, charging only for the processing charges. That is, if you want to make it as an open access, okay, you have to pay the price, money or else you don't want to pay the price. Fine. So anyhow, if you want to know that whether uh, uh, it is uh, whether you have to pay price or if they have any hidden charges, it is better to send a mail and get it, uh, get the response from that. But according to my uh, overall research, I could see that elsewhere is not asking for any fee unless and until you wanted to make it as an open access. Okay, so you can uh, this you can also check whether it is there in uh, Scopus and it's there in the web of science. So here most of the time they'll be uh, mentioning here in the aim and the scope. Okay, if it is not there, then definitely we have to go and check for whether it is there in Scopus and it is there in elsewhere in web of science. So let us see. Um, let us open in another tab. And let us find whether it is there in Scopus and also in Web of Science. So unless it is, it opens up, let us go and check for the next journal. Okay, it's ready. So let us check Academic Pediatrics. Go to the, go to the Scopus and paste it as it is listed in the, uh, in the Scopus. Okay. And also we can check it in the web web of science here you just copy and paste it you can see it is there in web of science as well so it is there in scopus and also in the web of science great so let us proceed to the next journal which is academic psychiatry okay so let us close this this is academic psychiatry so here it, it they are taking 28 days to respond back after the first submission yes it's good okay 28 days so plan it accordingly like how uh, before how many days you have to be ready with your article okay so innovative uh, education academic leadership advocacy in uh, psychiatry and behavioral sciences so these are the other uh, scope like what are their scope okay so they have mentioned here and let us check whether um, do we have any uh, any uh, fee to pay okay so editorial board is submission guidelines you can go and check in the submission guidelines whether they are asking for any fee okay okay so funding and license so this is open access publishing so they are directly telling you that you have to pay only if it is open access 
okay here they have an instruction that is a pdf is there you can simply open the pdf and see you can download the pdf and check whether it is there any other information they have provided okay uh, so that uh, it will be easy for us to uh, check whether you have any any fees to pay or not okay just download it they also have some information for the authors regarding uh, like what is your uh, template what template you have to do let us check whether it is there in scopus so just open and just paste it if it is coming up then definitely it is there in scopus as well academic pediatrics academic psychiatry okay and it is better to check whether it is still there yes it is there in uh, scopus and also we will check it in the web of science it is there in web of science great so this journal is there in scopus and web of science and uh, let me also check whether uh, so here you have to pay for open access okay open access fee that is uh, uh, only if you want to make it as an open access to see anyone can download so then you have to pay great academic psychiatry is fine so let us proceed to the academic radi radiology which is the 18th journal 18th journal which is listed in your annex one so let us click here to know more about it let us see they are taking 1.2 weeks for the first decision great so it is a great information and then they are taking 2.4 weeks for the review very good and if you just see read full aim and scope you can find what are the aim and the scope of the journal okay and uh, this is elsewhere publication again so anyhow let us uh, uh, check you have two uh, publishing options that is open access and subscription option so open access in the sense if you want to make it as pub, uh, publish as an open access that is anyone can see then you can go ahead with that see check with your uh, organization or institution whether they have any uh, subscriptions with uh, elsewhere so it will be free of course that you can easily submit and make it publish okay so this is uh, radiology right uh, academic radiology let us see whether it is there in scopus academic radiology is there in scopus and also in web of science academic radiology okay so yes it is there in elsewhere and we will also check whether it is there in scopus i hope it is also there in the scopus yes academic radiology is also there in the scopus and still from since 1994 it is there in scopus it is listed in scopus great so next we are going to talk about academy of management annals and academy of management journal and the problem with this two is what i couldn't find where the price is okay so uh, one thing is we can just mail them and ask uh, what is the price if they have any open access uh, policy or article publication charges and even in the frequently asked question i couldn't find the um, uh, that is a price for the journal okay what happens if the proposal is accepted so you have various uh, thing but i couldn't find the um, uh, find like uh, how many what is the price what is the price of the journal here you can see that um, they have they are the frequency is january and july okay this is related to management january and july they are accepting that is they are publishing that is twice a year okay apart from this uh, we couldn't find more information about this journal like what is the frequency and uh, uh, that is for, sorry what is the uh, uh, that is how many days they are taking to publish the that is accepting or rejecting the journal that is to issue any uh, status of the journal so that we couldn't find but in this frequently asked question i could find that four months okay they are they will take four months from the time of acceptance okay but after, before this how many days it will take okay so that is a big question here even uh, i couldn't find i was just trying to uh, search around but um, i couldn't find more information about it so what you can do is it is simple that you can just stay uh, get the day, uh, they get the mail id and then uh, simply mail them like what is the charges if there is there any article processing charge or article publication charges you can take the mail id 
and send a detailed mail to them. So for these two journals, Academy of Journal Management Journal Annals and Academy of Management Journal, if you are planning to publish anyhow, uh, they are they are uh, issuing only twice a, a year. Okay, so probably they will take more time for uh, acceptance and for rejection. What are the status they have to convey? Definitely they will take time. So it is better. Um, that you can if you want to go with this journal you we can better mail and ask them or else we will discuss more about the management related journals in the upcoming videos thank you take care bye bye if you have any questions you can just post it in the comments